The Larsa onto the black carpet for the last time first. Blumenfeld and Reed as well, racking the bike at the back of screen is Vincent Lewis. If he can have a good transition, he needs to. He needs to win this race. He needs to put athletes between. Ryder drops his bike as he does again. The Larsa comes out, three sharks in the top five, joined by Blumenfeld and Van Riel. So, Velasa could push his way up the championship standings if he wins this one. He knows that. Blumenfeld doesn't figure. Reed doesn't figure. Lewis is there. Van Riel doesn't figure. Neither does Ryder. And then it's Wild, Yee and Brownlee all together. Separated by three points as Hayden Wiles moves his way up to third position ahead of Van Riel. There's the short shoot in the background. Next time around, Van Riel's going to take that one. The pace too hot for Seth Ryder now. Wow, Velasa is pushing it at the front. God, Blumenfeld's going for it. You see him gritting the teeth here. Hayden Wilde just sitting up on his shoulder with Martin van Riel right behind him. This two, uh, yeah, these guys are really going hammer and nails. It's amazing to watch. Wilde in the box seat now. There you can see Brownlee, Lewis and Yee in the back of this group. They are the men chasing Hayden Wilde. So it's for sure, it's probably, oh, well, there's no gap between them at all. And we have to wait and see what Blumenfeld is going to do. And Velasa, who tucks in behind the Norwegian now. There's a little gap there, maybe a second, to this group of the three championship contenders. Wild can take this as it stands, he will. Does he have the legs? He didn't have it in London. Oh, he, sorry, he didn't have it. Well, he did have it in London. He won. He didn't have it in Jersey. Yeah, you've got to be careful, yeah, you don't want to go out too quickly, uh, you know, with the likes of Blumenfeld on your shoulder, he can absolutely turn it on on the last two, three hundred metres. And Vasco as well has also got a kick on him as well, so it uh, looks like they've, they've obviously made a small gap to the guys behind them as well. And the race, this is a race within a race as well, yeah. Oh, it so is. I can see a touch of deja vu from Jersey with Johnny Brownlee on Alex Yee's shoulder. Interestingly, Vincent Luis is slightly dropping off that pace. Have these four gone on a little bit too early? Blumenfeld, definitely not. He has all the experience that you'd expect for an Olympic champion to have, but it's Wild who's pushing it on now. Wild. Aiden Wild, one point back in the championship, 800 metres to go. Wild is trying to chase down Brownlee for the overall championship win. He is in the front, Van Riel is in third, he has the short shoot. There is Yee, he's run away from Brownlee, who's run away slightly from Vincent Lewis. Yee, the fastest runner in triathlon. Can he run his way back up to this pack? At the moment, he sits one point behind Hayden Wild. He needs to beat him. He's in fifth right now, and he's doing his best to run onto the back of Velasa. I think he's done it. Yeah. Van Riel takes the short shoot, and he's now the leader. Wild has someone to chase down. 400 metres to go in this race. Brownlee's off the back now. Lewis is off the back. Van Riel is leading. Wild needs to stay in second. He's got Blumenfeld behind him. Can Martin Van Riel win this race and 20 grand? And can Hayden Wild win the championship at 100 grand? That is the question that's going to be answered in the next 45 seconds time. Well, this is an oh, athlete wow. who knows how to win Super League. He won in the Arena Games back in Rotterdam. He had the short shoot. He's made the absolute most of that, but it looks like Hayden Wild is running him down. He's absolutely not giving up as a Belgian athlete now makes that 180 degree turn. He is there. It's going to be a foot race between Alex Yee and Hayden Wild. They're now 200 metres from the finish. Brownlee's dropped off the back. He is there in the white. There is Hayden Wild in the purple of the Sharks, and now Yee's right behind him. Can Yee run him down? If he beats him, then he's going to do it. It's out of these two men right there. You can see the pain on Hayden Wild's face. It all comes down to the last 100 metres, and it's going to be a sprint finish to the end between Hayden Wild and Alex Yee. Martin Van Riel is still leading. He's going to get swallowed up, is he? Up to the big screen they look. The last is still behind. He'll pick up key points. But it's Yee and Wild. Alex Yee going around the outside as well. Just up into the hip here of Martin Van Riel. It's going to come down to a sprint finish. It is. I think Wild's going to get dropped. I think Yee's going to be the one that does it. Has Hayden Wild got another gear? I don't think he does. It's going to be Alex Yee for the championship. Can he take the race win as well? It's a sprint finish. And it's going to be Yee who takes it, I think. The championship and the race win. What a month for Alex Yee. He's gotten better and better. He came fifth, he came third, then he won in Jersey and maybe right now he's won the race to go along with the championship and second is Hayden Wild. Oh my goodness, they are slaked out down here.
Speechless. Speechless. What racing this week? What racing this week? You could not expect any more. That was absolutely amazing. The two young guns from the from the UK and from New Zealand. Alex Yi turned it on amazingly there. He has picked up the championship win, taking it by two oh, tenths on, of a second up, from Martin Robert. Van Riel. Vasco Velasa in third takes key championship points. And Hayden Wild, it came down to 1.6 seconds after a month. Vincent Lewis in sixth behind Blumenfeld. Brownlee in seventh, couldn't get it done. But those seven were streets ahead of everyone else. And look at what Hayden Wild has given to this racing. Brownlee on the ground. Those two had such a good battle last week and this time well it was seven seconds in the end slightly more than that and Alex Yi well he relies on his run he's become a complete triathlete but when the run needs to be taken he can he knows he's got it in the back pocket congratulated there by Gustav Eden Hayden Wall still down on the canvas. And his fellow eagle there, Seth Ryder, as well. And there is a very happy Tim Don, the team manager. Wild's on the ground. We hope he's okay. He's getting a little bit of attention from his team manager, Michelle Dillon. But you cannot accuse him of not putting in absolutely everything. And those two, well, they sprinted for the line, and it was two tenths in the end. Martin Van Riel. Hey, man, are you? Do it. Hey, why? Hey, let's have a look again at how the race finished up. And in another sprint finish, two in two weeks for Yi, and this time it's Martin Van really pips by two tenths ahead of Velasa. And everyone hit the deck. The black carpet had plenty of fallen soldiers on it. Well, that was some kind of racing from Alex Yi, who sat in and sat in and raced no, tactically not. and smart like he did last time around in Jersey. We didn't see him figure at the front at any point. And the only time he hit the front in this race was in the last, well, 10 meters. I would have said even less than that. And that's exactly how you win Super League races is to light your matches exactly when you need to and not before.